How's it going, peeps? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. In today's video, we'll delve into the origin story of another extremely obscure character making a cameo in the She-Hulk series. If you're new to the channel, what we do is cover the origin stories of comic book characters, especially those coming to, or rumored to be coming to, live action. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of your favorite comic book characters' origin stories. So who is El Aguila? His true name is Alejandro Montoya. He was born in Madrid, Spain. When he was a teenager, he discovered his mutant powers, which was the ability to shoot bioelectric energy blast, but they had to be transmitted through a conductor. He took up wearing a pirate costume and carried a sword to control his energy blast. He took on the moniker of El Aguila, which means eagle in Spanish. El Aguila is an expert in fencing. He is extremely skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and a talented acrobat. He has suction cups that go on his hands, allowing him to scale buildings. He also carries a grappling hook. He speaks both Spanish and English fluently. He moved to New York and became a modern-day Robin Hood. He would target slumlords, dirty cops, and other criminal types. He would take what they had earned from crimes and used it to help people. In his first encounter with the Heroes for Hire, he clashed with Luke Cage and Iron Fist. He later ended up allying with the Heroes for Hire. At one point, he had an encounter with Hawkeye, who was the head of security at CTE. During the encounter, El Aguila outmaneuvered Hawkeye, always being one step ahead of him. El Aguila has teamed multiple times with the Heroes for Hire. One time was to take down Master Khan. El Aguila at one point returned home to Spain to help a village that was being preyed upon by the villain Conquistador. El Aguila was also one of the many mutants depowered during M-Day. Well, that pretty much wraps up his history because that's all he's done in the comics so far. We've already seen him in the She-Hulk trailers, so we know he's going to pop up at some point. Well, that's a wrap for this one. And as always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm out. Peace.